Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. You might be looking at the title of this video and you're like, Nate, why in the world are you talking about icons and prime icon moments when it's the middle of team of the year? Well, I, of course, am on a slight vacation right now before team of the year ends. Um, it was planned six months ago, so again, I know it's poor timing, but it is what it is. But I wanted to bring you guys some of the latest information about prime icons and honestly just think theoretically about prime icons and icon moments because we are not that far away from icon moments actually being released in this game. I know it sounds crazy, it sounds like, or it feels like the prime icons haven't even been around for that long, right? I'm looking at some primes here on the market. And again, we've been talking about how these prices are absolutely crazy. For some of these prime icon cards, they're so cheap. Like Zidane is like 3.1 or 3.2 million coins, whereas last year he was like 5 million coins, right? So I want to talk about icon moments a little bit today because we also have leaks. And um, there's not very many leaks. They're, of course, going to be rolling out as we get closer and closer to the actual re release of the icon moments. But, um, you know, right after team of the year, we have future stars. And last year during the second week, of future stars it was the second week of february as well i believe we had icon moments released on this game now ea dropped the prime icons in middle of december which is what we usually expect and that's what we also learned to expect the prime icon moments in the middle of february so we are really not that far away from moments and we already have one confirmed of the new I the new icons added to fever 22 we already have a dynamic image and some stats so I want to talk about icons a little bit because I just want to have a discussion here as well because icons this year are so cheap and I continue to want to talk about that even with team of the year cards out on this market right now, these prime icons just continue to fall because I think at least from a market perspective, there aren't that many people that want to go out and spend this many coins on icons, at least not right now. Um, because icons just don't have that, you know, hype as they used to have. Now, the icon moments might be a little bit different, and we'll talk about that today. But, you know, icons are still very popular items on this game. But with all of the content that EA is releasing this year and the insane power curve that cards are already on, icons have kind of taken a back seat, and you can tell by their prices on the market. So, if you're excited about this video, of course, as always, make sure to hit thumb thumbs up on it and subscribe if you are new. Now, let's take a look at the first prime icon moment that we have stats and a, and a leaked image for, right? Now, this was leaked just about a day ago. Cafu, and Cafu is a new icon of FIBA 22. So, of course, for Cafu, for Van Persie, and for Wayne Rooney, we're very curious to see what their icon moments cards would look like in the dynamic image. And I think one of the things that make icon moments cards so special compared to all the rest of the icons on the game is that they're cards have dynamic images and this is the confirmed dynamic image for Cafu and the confirmed stats i'm pretty sure 94 pace 93 defense 88 physical 87 passing and 91 dribbling again last year in fifa 21 we saw the first dynamic images for moments icons where there were players like holding the trophy right i have the the images from last year right here from this um this link and you see uh you have the schweinsteiger with the world cup trophy as well now we have a Cafu with the World Cup trophy. So I think this is absolutely dope and I love it. And I think the stat boost on this Cafu is pretty nice as well. But again, this just kind of whole this brings up the whole conversation of icon moments cards. Now, again, this is the first card that is leaked. These guys with leaks says that other cards are in the coming weeks. Yeah, they're gonna be start to popping up. You're gonna start to see this stuff. Now, in years past, this this has happened the past two years, these pictures have been leaked and shown. And the cool thing with Prime Icon Moments as well, and the best thing about them, is that these guys change a little bit year over year. That's the that's the best part, and I think that's what people look forward to the most about Prime Icon Moments. Again, you see Bobby Moore with the trophy as well, right? These images and the stats for these cards, they change a little bit every single year, unlike the base, mid, and prime versions. So... That's what we look forward to, right? Usually we get these images leaked, but of course with the way that leaks are this year, I'm sure that we're gonna have Icon Moments cards probably in the next, like, honestly, week. You're gonna see more Prime Icon Moments start to showing up because again, there's a lot of intrigue and a lot of interest with these cards since they have stats that differ from year over year. Now, I don't exactly remember uh, from last year what kind of cards had different upgrades. Um, I believe Maradona was a 98. And then if you take a look at Generations, he was a 99. 
in FIFA 20. So people are a little bit, um, you know, like this is this is a change in stats and of course dynamic image that people are not as happy about from FIFA 20 icon moments to um, to FIFA 21, where you had of course the 99 Maradona in FIFA 20 with 97 pace, 99 dribble, 96 shot, and 94 passing. But then in FIFA 21, he only had 94 pace, 98 dribbling. 95 shot and 93 passing and a little bit less physical but each of these icon moments cards kind of relates to a specific moment in their career right it's like an icon moment with a specific moment in their career so that's why stats can change and that's why there is a decent amount of hype for these cards again as the leakers have said you know somebody was like i wanted to know what the Vidic stats were right on this post they posted last year's card and then the, the, one of the leaker guys trusty said they are not the same as last year not for every card some have bigger changes right so some of the cards are going to be the same as we get closer towards icon moments time some of them are going to be different but again i just want to kind of prepare you guys for this and talk about icons a little bit today because um icons have been not very hyped this year and we're getting into a point where the most hype versions of icons on this game are going to be released now speaking of icons on this market right prices are so down and we already mentioned this right because it just seems to be that with all the other insane cards that are out on this game this year people are choosing you know winter wild cards or or team of the year sbc items or stuff like that instead of going out on this market and buying some of these cards right i mean i mentioned some prices earlier but like prime cruyff is 4.6 million coins last year during team of the year he was like six and a half to seven mil crazy crazy price drops on these prime icons for what we're used to seeing and that's also just part of the market this year everything is cheaper but i also feel like it's because of the game and the power curve there's so many other great attacking options in this game of special cards that people would rather go out and use right the winter wild cards promo brought so many items to the market we have heroes this year guys like ginola guys like di natale that's probably pulling some demand away. We have multiple, um, you know, high rated versions of awesome overpowered special cards like the Zlatan card. People would rather, you know, try a card like that or, you know, maybe uh, like Winter Wild Cards Neymar. There's just tons of other great options on this game where icons used to be the upper echelon. Now we have so many special cards in FIFA that people are choosing those and they've, they've done big time SBCs. Maybe they've done, you know, some of those um uh, big time SBCs like, you know, even in a Cardi SBC or these um, big moments SBCs that we have been seeing. There's a couple more leaked to come out during team of the year. You know, everybody still uses flashback Benzema, right? People use that Harry Kane card. So there's there's just so many other options that are out in this game that people can use instead of icons. And you see that, right? You see those prices. You see the those prices down and you see where people's demand is on this game because of that now with this being said yes icons are cheaper than ever this year um and you see prices being so crazy low from what they used to be in previous years in fifa but icons also on the other hand there's another flip side argument to this icons are still very hype right because think about people that are going out and doing icon player pick SBCs, right? People love icons still in this game, even though that they may not be as hyped this year, they're still willing to gamble and risk hundreds of thousands, three quarters of a million coins for this base or mid icon player pick, 730,000 coins to do this player pick SBC. And people will gladly go and do this to try and pack an icon card that they, you know, that they might not even use 730k. Again, we talk about it all the time. It's fun to do SBCs like this, and if you have a lot of coins, then yes, you can do them. But it's such a big gamble, and again, with so many other great cards in the game, doing SBCs like this is really a big gamble. And if you don't pack anything like over 700, 800k, it's a card that you're going to use for a while, which is not too many icons over that price range in this time frame of the game. You know, it's a huge, huge, huge gamble, but people still love to do it. So that's the flip side, right? People don't like to spend coins on icons that much, but when it comes to a gamble, when it comes to an icon upgrade SBC or an icon player pick, the hype for icons is still there in those terms. But I don't think as many people are just going out and buying them for their teams as they used to because there's so many other great cards on the game. So that's just kind of my thoughts there. It's kind of like a, you know, it's kind of like a seesaw with icon demand, right? People don't want to buy it on the market but they'll be gladly going and paying for a gamble SBC just because of the, oh my goodness, I could pack R9 type of feeling, which EA preys on that type of uh, feeling all the time 
in this game. So a couple more things about icon moments, of course, we talked about the stats and the dynamic images should be different. Not every single card is going to get a brand new icon moments item. Um, and that's part of the fun with this right now. Again, we mentioned the leaks. There's going to be more leaks. So just get prepared. Just get ready. You know, by the time this video comes out during team of the year, I'm recording this a couple days, uh, like basically right after these leaks are being posted or a couple days after, you know, there's probably going to be some more leaks. So this stuff is, it's really early stages and we'll talk about it more as we get closer. But I mean, there's going to be a lot of leaks. That's just the name of the game this year. And that's just how it goes. Um, on this game but i do think that when the prime icon moments come out you know there's there's going to be the, the most hype on icons for actually people buying them on the market the most hype you're going to see this year is for the prime icon moments when they are released yeah when the primes release it's pretty cool but again since there are aspects that change to the moments cards people will probably sell a lot of prime icons that are on this market, right? I mean, we've had some really good prime icon SBCs lately uh, with like, you know, Dog Leash, um, with Kaka, with, you know, we've had a, a decent amount of those that have been well-priced on this game. Those are going to continue to be rolling out. But again, you know, I think that for the cards that are on the market, like this Pushgas is like 2 million coins flat, right? 1.9, 2 million coins on the market. I mean, I think that you're going to see for the people that really want to buy icons on the market and try them out and have the coins to do so. I think that you're going to see a lot of these prime icons drop in price still, just like we saw a lot of the mid and the baby versions drop as we got into mid December for the primes to be released. I think you're going to see a lot of the primes drop in price, even though they're already so cheap. Because I think icon moments this year are going to be cheaper than ever before in this game too, right? Think about prime moments R9, how long this guy, you know, the, the, the extinct dinosaur as he was called, right? This dude is under nine under 10 million coins right now for prime R9. Last year, moments R9 was extinct on the market for like a month or maybe even two months. I forget how long it was that he was extinct. Oh, he was, he was extinct for way longer than two months. Just kidding. He was extinct from like March all the way until like June. You can see here, why he's not consistently showing up on the market until July, literally until July. People were paying real money. And of course we had the whole, you know, black market icon moments, uh, EA Shea, that was uh, back a year from now. So that whole issue was going on as well with a lot of these icon moments. But I mean, just look at some of these prices, right? Ronaldinho moments last year was, was 15 million coins for the first couple months. How much was Ronaldinho prime last year because of that, right? Ronaldinho Prime was during Team of the Year. He was six, 5.7 to 6 million coins, rose to 6.7 after Team of the Year a little bit. Um, and then the moments came out with the position change. But like, what about Ronaldinho? Did he change from FIFA 20 to FIFA 21? So his card had the exact same, no, no, it had different statistics and a different dynamic image, right? 95 pace, 93 shooting, 94 passing, 98 dribbling. And then in FIFA 21, he got minus one dribbling, but he got plus two shooting. So Ronaldinho had more shooting on his card um, in FIFA 21 compared to FIFA 20. So, you know, that's just part of the fun with these icons. But I do think that since everything on the market this year is cheaper than ever, that's just going to roll forward uh, into the prime icon moments as well. But again, this is the fun part about it, right? You don't know. This, uh, this 95 Maldini was the biggest profit I ever made on a card back in uh, FIFA 20. I bought this guy for 4 million coins on a snipe and sold it for like 6.7, somewhere down in this March range. It was crazy. A 2 million coin flip in literally an hour. Uh, but like Maldini, look at this dynamic image from 21 compared to FIFA 20, right? And then his stats barely changed, right? The stats barely change on most of these cards. But you know, you have some icons that get position changes, some icons that get weak foot or skill move upgrades. Uh, like I think a position change card that we had one year back was, uh, it was either Figo. I think there was a Figo that was like central or something from one of the years. Nah, maybe not. Let's go FIFA 21 and see icon moments Figo. Was it FIFA 20? Nah, it wasn't Figo, but there's one card that I'm thinking of that got a really, really sizable boost that moved him from a wing player to a central player, and that was huge. So we're going to do some more research and keep watching these cards over the next, you know, couple weeks as they, of course, get kind of rolled out onto the game. Oh, I think another item got a five-star weak foot. It was like um, either Clivert or Rush or something like that. I think he got a weak foot upgrade. Five-star weak foot on his moments card last year in FIFA 21, and in FIFA 20, 
he got a five-star weak foot upgrade as well, but his gold, yeah, his other icons had a four-star weak foot. So that was one of the things that was hyped about the rush card. And then you see 90, in uh, FIFA 20, he had 90 pace, 94 shot, 90 dribbling, and that dynamic image. And then last year, they dropped his pace and dribbling a little bit. So, you know, we'll have to see. Hopefully, they don't drop the ratings from FIFA 21 on the prime icons when they get released this year. But we'll just have to see. Again, there's going to be a lot of leaks. You're going to see a lot of these cards, especially for the new icons. Yeah, we already have Cafu, but Van Persie and Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney is going to be a massive, massive card this year for his prime icon moments. Um, you know, if it's 93, 94 rated, there's going to be so many people that are excited about that card. But again, with this Wayne Rooney, he was he was 2 million coins right off the bat when people were trying this card out. But just look how much he's dropped, right? 850k. For the best Rooney card in the game. Now the moments is going to probably overtake that. But we will just have to see. So again that's kind of the discussion with Icon Moments right now. And I know that I just wanted to get on this video and talk about it a little bit. And also just to have something to kind of make you guys aware. That Icon Moments are not that far away. And to maybe start if you have a Prime Icon in your team. Maybe as Team of the Year ends and we have some of these Primes actually rebounding. Um, or maybe even mids on the market rebounding a little bit in price. After people get a lot of coins from this team of the year promo, maybe we look at cashing some of those out as the leaks start rolling out. Because when the leaks start rolling out about icon moments, people are going to get interested and we're going to have to start talking about, you know, how these cards are going to affect the market based off of the leaks and based off of the, you know, the hype and stuff like that. So again, I know this is a completely different video in the middle of team of the year right now where a lot of content is rolling out for team of the year cards and that sort of stuff and i hope you all are packing some insane stuff i'll be back very soon i'm sure you've seen some some phone videos right we'll be recording from the phone and doing the normal market updates uh from those types of videos a bit different but still something to get out there but i wanted to bring you this video talking about the icon moments today and if you want to see that cafu image i'll put a link to that down below in the description so you can take a look at that and uh, see that tweet and see that image for yourself. But again, that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.